today we're unveiling a new service to the library and uh, it's a way it's a commemorating uh, two people that gave so much of their lives and time to the library. Ernie and Frank Greenstreet, which I'll mention in just a couple of moments, through their estate, we were able to purchase all these musical instruments, which in total came to about $21,000. Not one tax dollar was used to provide this new service to all of you, which I think is remarkable. So today we'd like to do a ribbon cutting with this new service. We ask you to, to join in, play the instruments. My personal favorite is the xylophone, because with the musical book, it's really, really great. Uh, but it's there for everybody to use. <laughs> You can do it. Yay! Well, this is one of six instruments that we have. It's called a bell wire. Um, and it, you can see that it has all kinds of tunes you can make with this and with the uh, the mallet you can just go to town and we purposely had it uh, installed here because I want people when they're driving by to see that we have these instruments because unless you walk through the garden you're not going to be able to see it so it's probably uh, accessible because we want to make sure that if you're wheelchair bound there's no there's no hills or anything so that's the other reason why we have this one here uh, but let me show you the next one which I think you want to mention that all these instruments were actually made to be outside so they're weather resistant same with the music room. and as you can see even though a lot of the instruments can be played by kids this young man over here is enjoying himself too because the instruments are for everybody and this is the time to enjoy it bongo drum and my my understanding is that the way they've been installed uh, we can um, these instruments can survive up to a cat four hurricane so they are here to stay they're not going anywhere at all But the idea of the spinning wheel is to give you the idea of falling in rain.